this video will be all about printing in react so why are we using a different print package other than the prints that javascript gives us um, in this video now let's see how the prints that javascript give us um, in action so i already have my react project here um, let me let me come to this page and um, i will just start the server and so we do npm run dev hit enter uh, okay uh, i need to do this install so just install the packages i just um bootstrapped this um this um project and um, so what we can be doing at this moment is to add a print button at the top here so we'll just come to the very top here and just add a button here and we'll see this button is for printing so this is how javascript does its own printing and it, it comes outside the box for us so when we do on click here we can just set it to um, a function and call print so once you call this print method it's it works that's just it but before we save it let's see what um what our project looks like so far all right so um it's working now so let's navigate there and this is what our page looks like now if we return back here and save this page then we should have a print button at the top here as we can notice now if you click on print it shows up everything on the page and this is really nice this print function helps us to print everything on a particular page but how about if you want to print only sections of a particular page not all parts of this particular page now that is where this package we are talking about react to print comes to play and it is very awesome so the first thing we want to do is to install this package and for us to install it we just copy the command here npm install and then let's come back here and um, in our terminal we'll just install it so paste it in here and hit enter next thing we want to do um we can clear off everything we are seeing here or we could also use the contents we we have here so that um we don't have to build out anything much for now so for or we can just go ahead and just build out a normal project let's clear everything we we have here all right and we have this print working as it should be now let's clear off all of this we will not be needing any of this all right and then that works let's save that and then let's come into uh, the source directory here create a folder components like that and we'll just we enter a print um it's going to be a print component but just print jsx and then we'll now have print maybe print body something like that so print content okay will make more sense dot jsx all right so how does this work w once you are done installing what we need to do is we need to create um we need to create uh a component here so we just name it print all right and then let's come back here we have a code here that have been given to us so we'll copy it bit by bit so the first thing is the import part so we we'll make sure we import it at the top here let's override that and then the next thing is um these declarations at this top so let's paste it in and i'll explain all right now in in here what we are doing is um the first thing is we imported the um use react to print uh, hook from the package we just installed and we also uh, imported the use ref here now down here we are setting up the content ref so we can just get rid of this and just keep it this way keep it simple all right so inside of here we are setting up use ref and setting it to null so uh, it's not referring to anything but here we are assigning it to whatsoever comes from react uh, to print hook all right so now next thing we'll do is we'll now use this as our print function so let's head back here and copy everything we have here to overwrite the return function that we have so let's <coughs> return and override this return function so as soon as we override this everything should work properly so at this point we have a button this button calls the react to print function that we created here and 
once you click on this button it then brings up this content that is being referred to by the user ref that we've created here so hopefully this works um as you're seeing it here so let's try it out and let's make sure we import the print uh, component here save it and return back to test our page so let's get rid of this uh good so if you click on print at this moment you notice that it prints only what is inside of this content content to print how are we sure that this is what is exactly happened so we could just go and pick um from this is the vit documentation <coughs> we could just pick a bunch of content from here let's pick something plenty so this is it let's um copy this and then in here let's do a p tag like so and paste it inside of it so let's make sure this is well formatted and save it now when we return when we return to our page here we notice that we have this huge content uh, sitting right here then we have the print button but when we print when we click on the print button it brings up only the content to print which is what we have been surrounded inside of this component that we've created here now to also show that this really works as we are saying let's copy some other content so let's take this overview one like so and then paste it inside of this um div so let's clear this off and put it inside of here let's make sure we format this also so now we have this content starting from overview of it so let's save it and then come back to test let's close this off and notice that when you click on this print it brings up only what's inside of the overview um i think i can zoom this in so let me make let me see if i can scale this 200 good so you notice that it is now showing us only the overview so this means that we can print sections of our page without having to print the whole page so once again let's differentiate this um, from what the regular javascript gives us so let's go back here and at the top here let's do that button and then let's say print js so js for javascript and on here let's do an on click event and then we do the print function so like so so once we do this we should be good to go so let's save it and see the difference so if we click on print js it should print the whole page for us all right so let's click and you see it's printing everything on the page both the buttons it's also printing the buttons and the content all right but when we click on the print it prints not the button but just the content and not all the content only the content that was assigned to it so with this we now know how we can print using the print uh, react to print um, package but another thing is that sometimes when we when we really want to print we don't want to have everything on the same page so what can we do two ways we can do things in two ways so the first thing is or the first way we can choose to set up our content like this uh, our button rather like this and move the content into another component so we have this print comp uh, content that we created so let's create the component print content and then inside of this div we can choose to paste in we can choose to paste in this overview that we copied before all right um we can even make it longer if we choose to all right same thing great so let's save it and then let's return here so at the moment there's nothing inside of this div but we can choose to render the print content like so so the print content all right so let's make sure we import it print content okay so let's just import print content from print content like that and let's format it so when we format it and save and return we can see that everything still works normal so if we click on print um it should print for us just the section that we have assigned it so this is for if we don't want to move um the ref out of this particular page or out of this particular place that we we are looking at all right but if you want to move this ref out of this place then you need to move this ref into this component and then pass it down here inside of the um, or, um of the div and make sure you pass it down here uh, as props then we can save it like that 
all right so let's save it and then let's return back here then we can get rid of these two so once we get rid of these two we now want to make sure that we pass in the content ref as it should be all right so we can save this again and return here and see that everything still works as we planned it all right so that means everything is working specifically as we wanted so this is how you can print print different portions of um your screen without having to print everything at once now uh, other things you might want to check out is um the the list of um api uh, documentation um more like the different options you can have so there is the body class there is the content ref which we've used document title and all of that you can check check all of them out now a few that are really important is on after print which is what happens after you're done printing on before print what happens before you start printing so this is usually very useful if um you are going to be generating the content you want to print all right there is the page style which is also uh, necessary for for styling uh, and uh, another thing we, you might want to do is sometimes you might want to hide the content that you in, need to print so if you need to hide the content before printing then you might need to set it up like this using the media query all these things are on the npm package uh, documentation so what it means is as of the time when you load the page there will be nothing on the screen but when you call for print there will be something on the screen inside of the print so hopefully that uh, makes sense so this is where you use the on before print and then um, on after print and that is it this is what you really need to know check out any other thing you you want to know but this is how um how you can do printing in react and you print portions of react thank you very much for watching i'll see you in my next tutorial